11. Grotesquely brilliant body horror anime that will leave you shaken. Urban legends about ghosts with deformed bodies are known all over the world. Be it the legend of a slip-mouthed woman in Japan or Bloody Mary in the West, the subgenre of body horror has existed in manga for a long time. Akira set the standard, though the terror of body horror is not limited to transformed and twisted bodies. The fear lies in the thought of what the anomaly represents. It is often the evil nature of the villain or the powerlessness of a rebel that manifests into an atypical looking physique. The subgenre of body horror adds disturbing visuals of the transformation of human flesh. Today we will dive into the stories of 12 grotesquely brilliant body horror animes which are bound to leave you shaken. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Number 1. Parasite 2014-2015 Shinichi Izumi is a 17-year-old high school student who lives with his parents. Tiny worm-like aliens with drill heads known as parasites are taking over the brains of their human hosts. They take possession of their host's body by entering through their ears or nose. One night while Shinichi is fast asleep, a parasite tries to crawl in through his. However, when Shinichi suddenly wakes up, it burrows into his arm and takes over his right hand. Later on, Shinichi names the parasite Migi, and both of them learn to coexist in the same body and retain their personalities. They encounter other parasites that are stuck in a similar situation with their hosts. This cannot be happening! They team up to fight against the evil slugs who want to mercilessly kill as many humans as possible. Shinichi and Migi eventually develop a symbiotic relationship. They protect each other from their enemies. If Shinichi had not woken up while Migi was trying to crawl in through his nose, Migi would have ended up possessing and killing him. At the time of this incident, Shinichi was a teenager. <sighs> a time when adolescents are struggling with the transformation of puberty. And having an alien parasite trying to wield seize your anatomy only adds to the discomfort. Being possessed by Migi brings more changes in Shinichi than his altered body. Their odd partnership enables each other to see things from a different perspective. It helps them identify what went wrong and what needs to be done to fix the situation. Ultimately, Migi and Shinichi are dependent on each other. Number 2. Akira 1988 Akira is set in a dystopian Neo-Tokyo of 2019. The city is turned into a hotbed for corruption, terrorism, anti-government protests, and gang violence. In the middle of the chaos, Kaneda's biker gang, the Capsules, attempt to take down their rival, the Clowns. However, the Japanese self-defense forces Colonel Shikishima arrests most of the Capsules, including Tetsuo. Shikishima and the head of research Dr. Onishi at a secret government agency learn that Tetsuo has powerful psychic abilities similar to the Esper Akira, who is responsible for single-handedly destroying Tokyo in 1988. To prevent history from repeating, Shikishima thinks about eliminating Tetsuo. In response, Tetsuo manages to escape from the government facility and steals Kaneda's bike. With the authorities after him, Kaneda joins a resistance group to save his best friend. This post-apocalyptic cyberpunk anime sets the standards for future body horror entries. We witness the element of extreme morbidity when Tetsuo begins to lose control over his powers. The storyline is packed with gore and blood as the military and the biker gangs nearly destroy Neo-Tokyo. Akira primarily focuses on friendship and changing power dynamics between Kaneda and Tetsuo. Tetsuo. When Tetsuo's psychic abilities get activated after crashing, he becomes a threat to the military and a weapon for the resistance. The other espers attack him with visions of him getting brutally assassinated. They try to use his hallucinations to neutralize him. 
The constant attacks make Tetsuo lose control and he ends up killing the officers who get in his way. Unable to bear the pain, he begins to mutate into a massive blob of flesh. The end of the movie could be a little hard to understand for those who have not read the manga, but nonetheless, it provided admirable, gory visuals. <laughs> Number 3. Lilycat, 1987. Corporations are surveying distant planets for mining rights in the 23rd century. The Syncam Corporation has hired a deep space cruiser, Salds, Saldes, to shuttle surveyors to investigate a relatively new planet. Jiro Takagi, Dick Berry, Nancy, other surveyors, and Nancy's cat Lily board the shuttle and are put into hypersleep for 20 years, making them biologically age only a month. The ship's computer detects debris flying through space and collects a sample. However, this extraterrestrial matter becomes loose in the ship while the voyagers are in cryogenic stasis. After waking up, the crew realizes two of the surveyors are imposters. Things begin to take a turn for the worse when Morgan dies of a mysterious infection. Others begin to perish from the same infection that dissolves the body, leaving clothes intact. The bacteria evolved into a hostile life form mimicking the shape of its human victims. It continues to kill crew members and overruns the computer controls. The identities of the imposters are revealed, but it is too late to take action against them. It is discovered that a robotic replica of Nancy's cat Lily, known as the Master or Lily Cat, has taken over the ship. Barry realizes Sincam wants to study the bacteria, and humans on board are collateral damage. <laughs> Lily Cat was heavily inspired by aliens in The Thing shape-shifting alien microbes similar to the titular creature in the latter. The film relies on gore to amplify the horror element. Every death on board is portrayed in the bloodiest way possible. Elements of body horror can be seen when the bacteria takes on the form of its victims. Being in outer space makes it difficult for the survivors to escape it, and having imposters on the ship adds to the tension. Lily Cat remains one of the best body horror anime decades after its release. Number 4. Attack on Titan, 2013 Giant creatures known as titans are terrorizing and devouring humans. They are several stories tall and don't display any signs of intelligence. A small population of humanity managed to survive by building a city with extremely high walls. However, the peace is short-lived as city walls get destroyed by a colossal titan who has appeared out of thin air. Smaller titans begin to flood the town. Aaron and his foster sister Mikasa witness the death of their mother at the hands of the Titan. Aaron vows to avenge her by eliminating every single monster. His sister Mikasa and their friend Armin join his quest to free the humans from the terror of the Titans. In Attack on Titan, Aaron along with other shifters have to turn into the very thing they fear in order to survive. The Titans have uncanny features, with their appearance being a twisted version of the human body. As the story progresses, humanity appears to be the greater evil in comparison to the gigantic monsters. The Titans begin to portray the tragic reflections of humanity's mistakes. The animated series gets better with each episode. You see the progression of Eren's character from a rightful hero turn into the shadow of what he used to be. The storyline of Attack on Titan is filled with blood and violence from the very beginning, where Eren witnesses his mother being eaten by a gargantuan. The ongoing animated series tells one of the most violent body horror stories. The scenes where Eren transforms into his Titan form are visually graphic. Number 6. Legend of the Overfiend Machi demons and Jujinshi man beasts begin to appear in Japan. Jujinshi's siblings Amano and Megumi arrive in search of the Overfiend Tatsuo Nogumo. A shy young student is prophesied to bring the Jujinshi, the Machi, and the human race into an eternal kingdom. Nogumo develops a relationship with Akemi, who survived a demon attack. She understands the destiny Nogumo needs to fulfill. This could either lead to the beginning of a new world, or the end of the world as we know it.
the tentacled monsters in Urotsuki Doji, Legend of the Overfiend, are extremely violent in nature. They use their tentacles to attack and decapitate their victims. As such, the story may not be suitable for younger audiences. Heck, the graphic nature is twisted enough to make an adult feel uncomfortable. The manga is often dubbed as another hentai, but in its defense, The Legend of the Overfiend has a substantial storyline. Nagumo and Akemi's love story is doomed from the beginning. In the end, Nagumo turns into one of the tentacled monsters terrorizing little girls. Number 7, Wicked City, 1987. A peace treaty exists between Earth and the supernatural black world. As the date for renewal of the treaty approaches, a militant faction known as the Radicals begin to create trouble. They will stop at nothing to disrupt the armistice between the two worlds. Two agents called the Black Guards are assigned to ensure the success of the signings. They need to protect Giuseppe, a 200-year-old perverted man. If the Radicals succeed in assassinating him, it will wreak havoc everywhere. Body horror is evident in the film from the opening scene when Taki begins to get intimate with a girl he met at the bar. She transforms into a giant spider and tries to devour him. Later when Taki heads for the airport, he gets attacked by three demons. Their heads explode as they turn into an amalgamation of a spider octopus monster. However, even without the adult scenes, the anime is quite bloody and should be watched with caution. It's with me. You must not let me down! Number 8, Berserk, 1997. A lone mercenary warrior Guts wanders around in search of battles. He is defeated by Griffith, the leader of Band of Hawk a mercenary group. Guts joins the group and quickly rises through the ranks, becoming Griffith's best warrior. Griffith opens up to Guts and tells him about his dream to rule his own kingdom. He shows Guts a mysterious demonic relic, his behelot. In three years, the band of Hawk expanded in power and number. Guts is now commander of the group. Griffith develops a close relationship with Charlotte, the daughter of the King of Midland. The Midland Kingdom has hired the Band of Hawk to help win the Hundred Year War against their enemies. Eventually, Guts decides to leave the Hawks and stop living for Griffith's dream, leading to a rift between the two. One year later, Guts learns that the Hawks have been marked as outlaws and returns to rescue them. Berserk follows the journey of Guts. Once a lone soldier, he finds friendship and community in Griffith and the Hawks. Gradually, he realizes that he doesn't want to dedicate his life to building Griffith's dream. When he hears his old troop is in danger, he rushes to their aid, but Griffith ends up sacrificing his men to become a powerful deity. While trying to stop Griffith, Guts becomes critically injured. He cuts off his left forearm and loses his right eye. The incident triggers Guts to become the Black Swordsman, and he sets off on a journey to eliminate all the God Hands. The characters in Berserk are more complicated than good vs. evil. Guts himself is an anti-hero. Long before he was marked, he was already being haunted by his own demons. Griffith's transformation to a villain was well paced. It doesn't happen all of a sudden. He gets tortured and imprisoned and accidentally starts the eclipse. But when he is offered the chance to become an immortal deity, he doesn't refuse. Berserk is filled with blood, violence, and complex characters. It is one of the classic animes you shouldn't miss. Number 9, The Giver. Bio Booster Armor, 1989. A test-type Zoonoid steals three Giver units. The Kronos Corporation sends their troops to search for him. In a battle against the Kronos, the Zoonoid kills himself with a hidden explosive. As a result, Giver Unit 1 lands near high school student Sho Fukamachi and Tetsuro Sagawa. The artifact begins to break free of its metallic bonds and inserts itself in Sho's body, turning him into a Giver. Suddenly, Sho is equipped with more power than he can handle. The Kronos Corporation and their genetically enhanced Zoonoids go after him. With the help of his friends, he fights against the evil Kronos Corporation. A symbiotic techno-organic device called the Giver has the ability to enhance the abilities of its host. One of these units gets activated by Sho and begins to alter his physiology. 
If the Giver's control metal is destroyed, it will not be able to recreate the host body. If critically damaged, it might end up consuming the host. As such, Sho wonders if he could separate himself from Giver. Giver is the story of Sho, who despite having superpowers, longs to live like an ordinary human. The OVA only had a run for 12 episodes back in 1989, though the manga is still ongoing. It was packed with violent action scenes between Giver and other biomorphic mutants and left a lasting impression on us despite being unfinished. Luna. Number 10, Jujutsu Kaisen. An unnaturally fit high school student, Yuji Itadori, lives with his grandfather in Sendai. He joins the occult research club at his school because of their flexible time schedule. Megumi Fushiguro informs Yuji of a high-grade cursed talisman at the school with which Yuji has recently made contact. The members of the occult club unseal the talisman, a rotting finger, causing the school to get cursed. Creatures appear that are fueled through negative emotions and strengthened by consuming the powers of sorcerers or charms. Not being strong enough to defeat the curses, Yuji swallows the rotten finger to defend his friends. In doing so, he becomes the host of Ryomen Sukuna, a powerful curse. Yuji manages to retain control over most of his body, despite being possessed. Satoru Gojo, Megumi's teacher, takes Yuji to the Tokyo Prefectural Jujutsu High School. There he proposes the plan to delay Yuji's exorcism until he consumes all of Sukuna's fingers. That will allow the sorcerers to eliminate Sukuna for good, but there's a chance that Yuji might not survive the exorcism. Yuji gets possessed by the evil spirit of Sukuna. This demon is capable of taking over and deforming Yuji's body. Sukuna doesn't hide his sinister nature, often joking about hurting women and children. Yuji manages to retain his sense of self, despite frequently losing control over his body. It shows his strong will and ability to fight back. Even when Yuji's body gets stolen, his heart and mind remains his own. The beauty of body horror is portrayed in the scenes where Yuji and Sukuna fight over the control of his frame. Ultimately, this action-packed series is one of the best horror anime of recent times. Number 11, King of Thorn, 2009. The Medusa virus lands in Siberia and begins to contaminate people worldwide. 160 survivors are selected by Venusgate to test a cure on. Kasumi is one of the survivors selected for the experiment. She gets separated from her twin sister as she is forced to go into cryogenic sleep. Some of the survivors wake up abruptly after 48 hours. They are surprised to see the facility is in a total state of decay. They are invaded by lush jungles and thorny vines which seem to have a mind of their own. Their horror intensifies once they discover the ruin is filled with dinosaur-like creatures and other monstrous aberrations of nature. Surprised to know that only a short span of time has passed since their arrival, they realize the gravity of the situation. King of Thorn is a survival story. The virus infects the victim's cells, causing extreme seizures while drying up the torso. That turns the infected into a solid stone-like corpse. It is revealed that the Medusa is an extraterrestrial shapeless presence. It arrived in Siberia during a meteor shower. Patient Zero was a young boy and his pet deer who unknowingly brought it home where his entire family was poisoned. His sister Alice uncovers the true nature of Medusa when her imaginary cat-boy hybrid friend comes to life. Traumatized by the death of her family, she traps the creature inside her home and sets it on fire. However, the virus spreads through the fumes. Alice gets approached by Venus Gate, a religious sect who believes she has the power to turn her imagination into reality. They experiment on her, employing a hacker named Zeus who fabricates mind-created realities at will. The story presents a twisted take on Sleeping Beauty, turning it into a horror fest. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.